Can AI recreate country flags? That's what I want to figure out today. Obviously, over the last year, AI has got a lot better, a lot better with video, a lot better with photos. And I know people have done this in the past, but no one's done it recently, I don't think. So I'm really curious to see what type of flags that ChatGPT and these other apps can create. Okay, so I actually started this in bed the other day. So I only have screenshots here. Out of curiosity, I went into ChatGPT and I said, can you please improve the Australian flag? I'm Australian. I want you to take elements from the history and culture to create a new Australian flag flag and it started off pretty strong they started giving me things that were going to add into the flag and i was very hopeful unfortunately for the first attempt here this is the flag they give me which i was super disappointed in that is just the australian aboriginal flag which is a nice flag with the southern cross on it so they weren't very creative so i promptly said bruh you didn't even create a new flag <laughs> don't ask me why i'm talking to ai like that they said fair cool we'll do this properly now with a completely new design they listed out a bunch of things that were going to add onto the flag and i just said go and this is the flag they gave me which i don't hate it has a kangaroo a boomerang and the southern cross very australian things but it still wasn't the result that i wanted so i said can you create me a norwegian flag and they gave me this which is the most disappointing thing ever <laughs> like that is so so shit then i told the ai that that was shit and i asked him to do it again and this was the flag they gave me which is just the same shit with different colors so i had the bright idea of getting chat gpt to write me a prompt to give to itself to create me realistic flag which in hindsight sounds stupid but it actually worked really well the first country i told them the redesign with this new prompt was America, the United States. And this was the flag that they created. Honestly, it's actually pretty good. It's more of a realistic style. It's not like a vector. It definitely is redesigned and it has American aspects, which I was pretty happy with that. So with that same prompt, I asked the AI to create me a flag of India. This was the flag they created. Not as creative as the last one. It's pretty similar to their normal flag, but I was still happy that the results were getting better. Halfway through the video here, I just want to show you guys how far AI has really came. So if we come over to Jack Socks at Geography here, another geography channel, he did this video two years ago. I used AI to invent flags. Super unique idea at the time. And if we actually come on the Jack video here and take a look at how bad the AI was two years ago. So he's using the AI mid journey, which is still around, which I didn't use because you had to pay for it. But his prompt was to reimagine the flag of St. Lucia. So this is the St. Lucia flag as he shows here. And these are the flags that the AI generated. As you guys can see, they're not bad. They're not as good as the ones we created. If we come further into this video, he asks it to reimagine the Kyrgyzstan flag with French influence. And you can see they're not very good at all. The flag we have so far are definitely way better than this. I think that's a pretty good show for how far AI has come. So let's continue on. Finally, with that same prompt, I asked them to do France and this is the flag they gave me. I was super disappointed with this because it's just a French flag with a rooster on it. Pretty boring, honestly. So I told the AI, I want you to be more out there with these flags, make them more interesting and change more things up. Which again, actually worked really well because the next flag they gave me was this, which I'm actually super impressed with. It's honestly one of my favorite flags that the AI created. I actually think it's really, really clean. Then today, I decided to do the same thing, starting off with America again. And unfortunately, the flag they gave me was this which looks like the Netherlands flag with like the Hydra symbol from the Avengers. I was super disappointed, fucking horrible. But for some reason I said, can you do the same for Italy? Apparently I hate Italy and I wanted to generate a shit flag for them as well. And unsurprisingly, this flag of Italy they generated me was also quite shit. I was quite disappointed with it. Again, it's a pretty simple Italian flag just with a symbol on it. It looks very communist actually. Then I started to get angry at the AI. I said, that is not a flag redesign. That is the same flag. Make it super different from the real flag. If you guys cannot tell by now, I do not know how to communicate with AI. AI very well, but the results do get better because the next flag of Italy they generated me was extremely different. It was this flag. At first thought, it looks very similar to the Nauru flag, which looks like this, but I'm actually super happy with it because it actually gave me a big breakdown of what the flag contains. The deep Mediterranean blue field, which is the blue background. You guys can pause and read over the rest of this, but they did give me a pretty good breakdown and we were starting to get somewhere. I think that's a really cool flag design. And then for our next country, I was like, what flag needs a redesign? I went over a couple countries in my head and I settled with England. And the flag that the the AI gave me actually really surprised me. This is the flag it gave me. It looks very similar to like a Scottish flag, which for some reason in all capitals, I said, can you explain that? For some reason, I, I always use capitals. And they said, this version completely leaves behind the red on white St. George cross, placing it with a deep, symbolic, modern design that feels official, historical, and national. And then the central emblem is a white Tudor rose in a golden ring. The Tudor rose is a national floral symbol of England. So the AI is finally actually doing what I want it to. And then they also gave me a breakdown of why it works with a modern flag. Flag. It's very sleek. You guys can read it there. And then I got a little bit bored and I came over to Sora, which is still part of ChatGPT, but it's like a different image generation tool. As you guys can see on the main page here, it generates really, really nice images. There's Ronaldo and Speed. Super cool image, looks super realistic. So I thought surely Sora can create some pretty good country flag. And the first country flag I asked it to create 
was the flag of Sweden. But Sora actually did something really surprising. This is what they gave me. They gave me two different designs of the Swedish flag, breaking it down. They gave me the actual flag, the symbol, and then the flag hanging, which is super cool and a lot more than what the original chat GPT did. And like I said, it wasn't only the one design it gave me. It gave me this one, and it also gave me this one. Given they are quite similar to the original flag, but I think it still is super cool what they did. Me being quite happy with that, I asked them to design me a South African flag, like redesign the South African flag, and this is what they gave me as well. Again, pretty similar to their actual flag, just like Sweden's was, but it definitely is different. The only problem I have with Sora and not ChatGPT is it doesn't really explain it to me, so I don't really know what any of this means. I still do like them though. They do look pretty cool. I also tried a bunch of different AIs, and when I'm telling you, it's probably not even worth showing you the results because they were that bad. Like, I'll flick a few of these on screen, and like, they're all really, really horrible. Just to show you guys an example, if I come over to Gemini, which is the AI created by Google, and put in the exact same prompt that I did on Sora. Let's see what flags it gives us. As you guys can see, it gives us a lot of information here, probably more than we actually need. It didn't actually generate the image, so I'm going to ask it, can it make the image for me? And as you guys can see, this is the first one it gave me, and it is absolutely horrible. Like, that is probably the worst one we've had out of all the AIs today. And just to give it a second chance, let's do the exact same thing, but this time do it for the country of Spain, and hopefully it can slightly redeem itself. Again, it's going to give us a breakdown of what's going to be on it. Apparently, it's highly complex. I mean, if that's what you want to call this last one, sure. So it's now generating the Spain flag. Hopefully, it's slightly better than whatever that monstrosity it just gave us was. This is the image it gave us, and somehow it got worse. That looks like something made on Microsoft Paint. Just to show you, ChatGPT is the way to go. And just for fun, I asked it to create a couple more, and honestly, it's almost embarrassing how bad some of these flags look. Like, what actually is this, Gemini? You need to fix this. Okay, and for our last one here, I'm going to do a live flag redesign. So this is the prompt I use. What flag needs a redesign? What's a very boring country flag? New Zealand. Let's do New Zealand. New Zealand has a very boring country flag. So let's put that prompt through here. And as you guys can see, it gets added to a queue up here, which doesn't take too long. A few minutes later. Okay, before I show you this flag redesign, New Zealand actually had a flag redesign contest not too long ago, which unfortunately didn't pass. But these are some of the flag redesigns that New Zealand almost had. So let's see if AI can create better flags than what people actually put in for the new New Zealand flag. Okay. Okay, so let's come over and click on it, and they are pretty cool. Honestly, I really like this one on the left here. We have the Fern, which New Zealand use in all their sports team. Plus, they still keep the elements of their current flag. I do like that one. We also have some symbols down here that it creates, like national symbols, which are always pretty cool. And then come over to our next flag here. Honestly, not my favorite flag that the AI has created, but I do still think it's a super nice flag. If we think about where we started in this video and where the flags are now, I think it shows that AI is actually really, really good. And if you use it correctly, you can create some really good things. I didn't use it correctly, and we still created some pretty cool things. But that is it for the video, guys. Subscribe for more content. I hope you guys enjoyed.